Growing fallout from the water release at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. Japanese Prime Minister Fumio Kishida has hit out at Beijing after instances of stones being thrown at diplomatic missions and Japanese schools in China were reported. As several Japanese companies have also been receiving abusive phone calls believed to have originated from China. Mr. Kishida says that his government summoned the Chinese ambassador to Japan and urged him to call on Chinese people to act in a calm and responsible manner. Tokyo says several companies have been receiving harassing phone calls bearing China's country code since last Thursday, when the water discharge process began. Fukushima City has also reported hundreds of angry calls that have flooded phone lines disrupting work, while a small zoo in Miyagi Prefecture says that it has received more than 100 abusive calls, with the calls coming in every minute. Japan says that some of its organizations based in China have also been targeted. いずれにせよ、中国側に対しては国民に冷静な行動を呼びかけると適切な対応を行うとともに処理水について正確な情報を発信することを強く求めており、引き続き強く求めていきます。The Chinese embassy in Tokyo says that it had also received nuisance calls from Japan. Beijing says that it's lodged stern representations to the Japanese side, saying that the calls caused serious interference at two operations at the embassy and at its consulates. China's foreign ministry laying the blame on Japan. It criticized the country unilaterally and forcibly proceeding with the water discharge without proving that it would be safe. Meanwhile, the South Korean government says President Yoon suk yeol and Prime Minister Han duk soo have eaten seafood during their regular weekly lunch meeting. The move aims to assure the public that seafood is safe to eat in the wake of Japan's water release. Various kinds of seafood will be served at the presidential office cafeteria throughout this week.